Variety magazine featured the Kardashian family on the cover of the latest issue, and they also interviewed the family. And in one particular portion of the interview, something that Kim Kardashian said ruffled a few feathers, to say the least. And for good reason, because her comments here are going to come off as incredibly elitist and classist. So this is pure rage fuel. You've been warned. Nonetheless, let's watch. I have the best advice for women in business. Get your fucking ass up and work. It seems like nobody wants to work these days. You That's have to, so true. You have to surround yeah. yourself with people that want to work. Have a good work environment where everyone loves what they do because you have one life. No toxic work environments and show up and do the work. I hate her so much. I swear to God, she is so insufferable. This entire family is so goddamn insufferable. I can't really find the words to express the level of hate that I feel for this entire fucking family. The Kardashians, the Jenners, all of them. I fucking hate them so much. So she says, um, it seems like nobody wants to work these days. And her sister chimed in saying, that's so true. Oh my God. Shut the fuck up, you elitist pricks. Holy shit. Imagine having millions and millions of dollars and complaining about how the peasants don't want to work. Maybe it's the case that it's not necessarily that they don't want to work per se, but they don't want to work for an employer who underpays them and treats them like shit. Maybe they'd have smiles on their faces when they went into their job every single day if they weren't struggling to get by, if they actually could purchase things that make them happy. But when you can barely pay the fucking bills and your employer treats you like dog shit, where's the motivation? You expect people to just fight past that abuse and just put a smile on their face? What what are what are you even expecting here? My last job before I was doing the humanist report full time was Walmart. I worked at Walmart for $10 an hour with a bachelor's degree while I was trying to get my master's degree. And I've got to say, wasn't necessarily very enthusiastic about going to work every single day. One, because it sucked. Uh, and two, because I could barely make enough money to survive. And the same was true for all of my coworkers. I mean, when you have to work, dedicate the majority of your days to a job where you're miserable there, you're treated like a robot and you don't even make enough money to make the shitty abuse that you deal with worthwhile. It's just to say that people don't want to work. Shut the fuck up. And she says here, have a good work environment. This is her advice to working women. Have a good working work environment where everyone loves what they do because you have one life, no toxic work environments, and show up and do the work as if people have a choice. You know, if you're working in a toxic work environment, just find a new job where the environment is not toxic. I think that people, if they had the opportunity to do this, Kim, they would do that. But People don't have money saved because jobs pay dog shit and they have to deal with the job that they work with because finding a job that actually pays you well and treats you well is actually difficult in our late stage capitalist hellscape. So what are you even talking about? Has she had a single conversation with somebody who's not a millionaire? It's insane to me. And perhaps this view that she has is shaped by her perspective because she has a lot of employees for her Kardashian empire. So when she sees her employees, she probably thinks, wow, look at all of these people. How are they not happy making me filthy fucking rich? Why don't they have big smiles on their faces? Well, I'll tell you why, Kim. It's because you treated your workers like shit. Quote, I was an editor on the Kardashian apps in 2015 in LA. Worked days, nights, and weekends. Could only afford groceries from the 99 cent only store. Called out sick more than once because I couldn't put gas in my car to get to the office and was reprimanded for freelancing on the side. So her employees are underpaid, treated like shit. They get reprimanded for getting side gigs because their main job doesn't pay enough. And she probably sees this, and this is kind of what colors her worldview. She just thinks, wow, these people are miserable probably because they're lazy. It couldn't possibly be that I treat them like shit and pay them nothing. No, it's because they're lazy. These peasants are lazy, and they should have a big smile on their face when they make me millions and millions of dollars. I mean, to say that she lacks self-awareness would be an understatement. She is completely fucking clueless. This is someone, though, let me remind you, who during the first year of the pandemic bragged about renting an entire private island 
for her 40th birthday. She wrote on Twitter in October of 2020, after two weeks of multiple health screens and asking everyone to quarantine, I surprised my closest inner circle with a trip to a private island where we could pretend things were normal just for a brief moment in time. How lovely. We danced, rode bikes, swam near whales, kayaked, watched a movie on the beach, and so much more. I realized that for most people, this is something that is so far out of reach right now. So in moments like these, I am humbly reminded of how privileged my life is. Oh, do you, Kim? You realize how privileged you are, really. So um, you wouldn't think that posting about how you rented an entire fucking island just for your birthday maybe makes the peasants feel like shit because they will never have that. And during the first year of COVID, before vaccines were available, when we couldn't see our families, we had to social distance and quarantine, you didn't think how throwing this in people's faces, flaunting your wealth would make them feel worse? I mean, how insufferable. What a fucking elitist pig. It's almost unbelievable here. Well, I know that so many people just can't do this right now, so I acknowledge that I'm privileged, but I'm still going to post about it and flaunt my wealth. Hope you don't feel like shit. Sorry. I know that for your 40th birthday, you're probably going to get drunk and watch uh, reruns of The Office on, on Paramount Plus or whatever the fuck The Office is on, but this is what I do. For my birthday, I rent an entire fucking island, get everyone in my inner circle tested for COVID-19. And um, yeah, <laughs> how could you not hate her? She is a piece of shit. If you are a simp for Kim Kardashian, acknowledge that she thinks that you are inferior to her. She thinks that her shit doesn't stink. But guess what? She's not better than anyone else. She's not better than the peasants who she, she's criticizing. Her shit does stink contrary to popular belief, and she farts just like everyone. She's a normal human being. She just thinks she's better than you because she has a lot of money. Now, I usually don't take much stock into what the ladies on The View say, but they actually had a really meaningful conversation about her comments here. And sometimes people on The View, the hosts on The View in particular, you know, they get a little bit elitist. Sometimes they come off as out of touch with working Americans, but Sonny Hostin here made a fantastic point that's worth sharing. Take a look. It helps to be born, it helps to be born rich also, like it she helps. was. I mean, she had a wealthy father. She had a mother who was a business manager. She's pretty. That she's, helps. She's pretty. Another asset. Um, and I, I just think that people that are born on third base shouldn't be talking about how easy it is to hit a home run. Yeah, right. Uh, exactly. When you are born into wealth, I don't want to hear anything about how other other people don't want to work because they have to work twice as hard as you and they will never even feel a fraction of the wealth that you get for doing nothing smiling for a camera how difficult acting for a reality tv show i mean the work that she does is nothing compared to the normal working american and yet they can't pay the bills and she has so much wealth she will never be able to spend it in a single lifetime if kim kardashian is able to live to be ten thousand years old she still wouldn't be able to spend all of the money that she has, even if she tried hard. Because after you buy a mansion and a yacht, and you you know take care of all of your family, buy them mansions and yachts and luxury vehicles, then you still have millions and millions and millions of dollars left. So her comments here demonstrate that she's not just out of touch and lacks self-awareness, but it really gives us some insight into how American elites think of the peasants. She thinks that you're lazy. This is what she thinks about you. She thinks that you're not wealthy like her because you're just not working hard enough. Maybe if you go into Walmart with a smile on your face or you fucking, you know, deliver those Amazon packages a little bit more happier, a little bit faster, you'd be as wealthy as her. She thinks it's you. It's not that you're being exploited by this disgusting late stage capitalist system that we live in. No, it's you. You're the problem. This is classism right here. And it's gross and um she should feel ashamed of, uh, of herself but you know she has no shame and whatever sense of shame or guilt she feels after reflecting upon this comment assuming she even does that she'll make herself feel better by spending lots of money on like i don't know a purse or some shit i hate her so much and i, I hope that other people understand uh that hating kim kardashian is good especially after these comments this family should be canceled unequivocally stop giving them money stop buying their products if they make products stop watching their television shows this is a piece of shit fuck her and her entire family you're the one who's lazy kim not working class americans fuck off
you acting like F-A. a beta, 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 beta. Call you the P word. Alpha male, not a beta male.